Right, videoing is on again. So we're leaving that. A whole load of students just came to that spot then, so I was lucky that I got there before them. Because they could stay there, couldn't they? Could have a picnic there, anything. I was able to video and talk. That's the um, one of the main reasons I go out for on my own is because I do the videos. Shoot shelf hill over there. We're leaving Weston and all that behind. I've just taken a picture of Robo Warren trees, and they stick out like somebody with a spiky haircut. Um, So I'm following this track now. I've got a feeling there's a place up here where these students might even stay. There could be like a centre here. Um, I've got a feeling you might mention that on the instructions. But this is rather a pleasant walk along here. Well, I'll, I'll just say one thing. This will take you much longer to get to Rowbarrow than if you, go, if you just go up the road. And you can get the A2 from Weston to get off at Churchill, near the batch, um, near, near that place where I go, where I end, near the fort. Um, this will be a longer route, but it's uh, a nice route. But you're going to have to add on probably a couple of hours to your walk. I don't know yet because I'm, I don't really, I can't pace myself because I'm not rushing. There'll be other walks that people can inform me of. I'm, that's the good thing about belonging to a group online, I mean. Obviously I can always join a group if I wanted to and go out walking with others. There's no problem there. And I might do that one day. I don't know. I, at the moment, I want to do my videoing. Um, once I've videoed everything, it won't be so bad. I can just go out and do the odd photo. Yeah, like I say, walking with a group, or even with one other person, is completely different. A different experience. You can't reflect as well. Uh, well, you reflect differently. Put it that well. Put it that way. Now, let's have a look at the instructions again. Pass the men dip. Right. Path on the left, line kiln. The track then forks. Take left fork and follow through wood uphill. Pass the men dip outdoor camp on the hill. Then follow Lincoln Lane all the way, all the way. So this lane, if this is the lane, I mean I haven't seen a sign saying this is the lane, but if this is Lincoln Lane, then according to that, just got to follow this all the way. But I mean I could still be on the wrong track. See what I mean? But if it isn't, if it isn't the wrong track, then this looks quite a pleasant walk. But like I said, it'd be a lot slower than uh, going up the road. You see, because you've got a walk because you have to ascend. When you get off at Sanford, get off at the second bus stop. By the way, not the first one. Get off past the Methodist Church one. And then go up Quarry Road or Lane, whatever it's called. <sighs> then you have to go uphill. You have to climb, ascend the quarry, if you like. You ascend. And then, um, see, because all this is different, and there's no mention of gates. So I, I might not even be on the right the right track, see what I mean? This is what exploring means. I mean, I haven't seen one sign. They obviously don't encourage people to do this because there's a dangerous quarry there. So 
I ain't, I ain't got a clue. To be quite honest, I haven't got a clue. Never said nothing about going through a gate, you see. You see, and there's a track there. Now, which way do I go? Okay, it doesn't tell you. So now I have to do a bit of guessing. I, this is where you end up going around in circles, right? Because basically, what, I could, what could happen to me now is I could end up at Churchill on the road, coming out on the road. Right, let me just turn off for a minute if somebody with a horse.